Get to the chopper! Hi and welcome to Get to the Chopper. I'm Nathan Ferguson and joining me tonight is a man that would much rather be playing footy than talking about it. Mandy Blackhawks forward Joe Boyce. Boycey, thanks for being a part of the show. Thanks for having me, Fergo. Pleasure to be here, mate. Now, for those who don't know, you actually got injured last month. Just tell us a little bit about what happened, how the ankle is, and when we might uh, see you back on the field. So, I uh, just jammed my ankle up, um, tore some ligaments, and got a cartilage defect. So, six to eight weeks. So, I started physio last night. Noticed that actually a bit of change today. Just been doing upper body weights and, um, yeah, ripping in. Well, mate, I know you would have loved to have been a part of the first win over the season on Friday night. 28-12 over Wynnum at home on the back of a really impressive second half. Yeah, mate. Uh, I was there on Friday night supporting the boys. The crowd was unbelievable, actually. The boys uh, held together really well defensively. Um, we've been working really hard on our defence, so... Yeah, very happy, mate, but not surprised. It's Ever since I've been at the Blackhawks, the club's been a really good defensive side, and... Yeah, Payne was really happy with the boys on the weekend. Um, relieved, I guess a lot of people were relieved just um, to get the monkey off the back. So the team song was really good to sing. Uh, a few of the boys got to learn it because they're only new to the club, but I'm sure with a couple more wins coming, they'll learn it pretty quickly. And mate, I saw Josh Chudley today and he's actually looking a lot better than he was after the game. He copped a nasty knock on the eye. It's actually fully closed by half time, but true to the man he is, he had a blinder anyway. Yeah, mate, I honestly didn't think he could get any uglier, but uh, he uh, managed to do that. Although it doesn't stop Chuds, he's uh, as tough as they come, so yeah, I wasn't surprised. Um, Kalitha also got his 200th point for the club. Pretty outstanding. He's a great finisher and a uh, pleasure to play with Khalifa. Yeah, well, he certainly knows how to find the uh, try line. The under-21s, they were also in action on the weekend, did a double over Wynnum in a grand final rematch at Jack Mansky Oval. They didn't show too many signs of rust in the opening game of the hastings Deering's Colts competition, claiming a 38-24 win in a high-scoring contest. Their captain, Cameron Bader, reflected on the host's solid start to their campaign. And the under-18s made it 5 from 5 in the Odds Wide Bank Mal Meninga Cup with a hard-fought win over the Cutters in Mackay. It was the team's toughest test of the season so far. The visitors secured a 22-10 victory. Their response to being challenged pleased the coach, Roy Byra. Yeah, mate, uh, pleased the performance. Uh, we had a rough start. You know, the boys um, didn't come out of the blocks um, too well. They really tested us you know, through that first half. You know, we were a bit under pressure there through errors and um, you know, being a bit of ill-discipline there. So, um, you know, we understand all our shapes and what we're doing. We just, I think we're just a little bit flustered from the start, you know, with their pressure and, I guess, you know, an early morning game, but, you know, that's no excuse. After half-time and um, having a bit of a team discussion about, you know, how we're going, um, I think we did well in the second half. Right, on to this week's action and the Mendy Blackhawks are on the road for the first time this season. We'll play the Pride in Cairns on Saturday. Now, we usually hear from Aaron Payne about the opposition, but we're actually going to hear from both coaches, starting with Northern coach Ty Williams. Yeah, the boys are pretty excited. It's a, it's a cracking day for us on Saturday. We've got four games happening and obviously it finishes with us at 5.30 in the afternoon. So, um, yeah, I think the boys will appreciate to running out to a home base in, in front of family and friends. There's no love lost between the two sides. And, uh, you know, given that this is their first home game, you know, I'd be very, very surprised if they're not coming for us. So you almost throw the form guide out because, you know, it's going to be a, a derby game, a traditional rivalry game, and it's going to be close. We haven't won the last two weeks, but um, we, we've been up to our necks in all the games. So um, I think if we can raise our completion rates, uh, which we're very good at round one, and, and, and eliminate those little individual errors, then we're going to be winning games ahead. The thing with the Pride is they're a very, very big, powerful, strong team. They're probably the, the strongest in the comp, to be honest. Um, you know, and they rely on that. So we need to make sure we're good defensively, particularly with our initial contact. And, you know, if we're not ready for a game of footy, we'll get chewed up and spat out. Um, slow starts are something we've addressed this week. You know, I've asked the senior blokes to come and see me about it. And we're going to tinker with a few things just in our preparation. Yeah, look, it's just about, I think, mentally being ready for a game of footy and probably just our discipline. That's been the other thing, you know, like last week we had in the first seven minutes, four penalties and a try. So, um, yeah, we need to start better. Former um, Cowboys teammates going head to head, um, so that should be good. And going to Cairns is always tough and um, rewarding to get a win up there, so 
Should be a good test for the boys. Um, looking forward to it. Well, it is rivalry round in the Q Cup this weekend, and actually a couple of our players went head to head trying to work out some well known rivalries. They had to sort of work it out via pitches. Some of them found it a little easier than others. Uh, this is fan favourite Fez, and uh, standing next to me is most hated in the team, Michael Bell. Michael Bell, how are you? I'm good, thank you. This should be interesting. Go for it. Cows vs Bronx. Cowboys, Broncos. <laughs> Cowboys vs Broncos. Cowboys and Indians. <laughs> That's a rivalry as well. <laughs> Just dates back to the 1800s. <laughs> Mine's bigger. <laughs> Domino's and Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut Domino's. What? Yeah. How'd you get that? Pizza. Ooh, uh, Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut and Domino's. Oh, far yes. out. Oh, I don't know this. I don't know. Looney, what's the Looney Tunes? Point. Rabbit? Rabbit. Australian Air Royal Force. Air Force. Army versus the Rabbits. No, nah. Air Force versus the Rabbits. Roger, Roger Rabbit versus the Air Force. Roger Rabbit versus the Air Force. Tennis. Yeah. Air Force. Royal Australian Air Force. Bugs Bunny. Is that, that's is that Bugs Bunny? No way. Roger vs Federer. Raphael Nadal. Raphael Nadal and Roger Federer. Roger. Roger is Rabbit. It? Is that Roger, is Roger Rabbit? Rabbit? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, what? no one else will get that. No, no. not one other person Raph. will get that. How are you going to get that? Roger vs Nadal. <laughs> Nadal. <laughs> Roger oh, Federer vs. Federer. Rafael Nadal. Roger vs Nadal, that's it, is it? Yeah, you said Roger vs Federer. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where is that Nadal? Raf! Oh, Raf, well done. Oh, you lost me at soccer. I'm not really one for soccer. What's that? Liver Liverpool and Manchester. Liverpool vs Arsenal? Liverpool vs Man, 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 Man United. City. Man United. Man United, yeah, Liverpool, Man United. That's a tie, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah how, I said it first. It's not a tie. Bro, you would never have worked that out. <laughs> I, <would not. laughs> I didn't even know. You didn't know that was the liver. <laughs> Teams. What would be Liverpool. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, Liverpool and Manchester, Manchester United. United. I'll give that to Michy. That was Michy's. That's a good hint. Train stop. Boy, train. Heartbreak box. Kids, Trains. Kids train. Um, Heartache. Breaking uh, breaking boss. hearts, Fez. Um, <laughs> um, so he's building. Play train. Play stop. PlayStation. What? PlayStation X. What? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Good one. Good one, mate. Your X. Xbox versus PlayStation. Oh, that's good. Station PlayStation, PlayStation versus Xbox. Xbox. So that's six one. No one's getting that, bro. <laughs> Liberty, Liberty, Red Sox, Sox Boston Red Sox, Red Sox versus yeah. New York Yankees. That's Justin again. Yep. Seven oh, one. I'm getting bro. This is what it looks like, everyone. <laughs> Sox. Boston Red Sox versus the uh, Yankees. Oh, I wouldn't have got that. Yes. <laughs> I was thinking like the Liberty Fuel Station. Oh, is it Boston Red Sox oh. and New York Yankees? Correct. Tom. There we go. Well done. Boss Tun Red Sox. Get Boss it? Tun. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Century. Yeah, nice. That's sharp. Far out. And juice needle. iPhone. Oh, iPhone and Android. Let's go! 7 2 to come <laughs> back on. <laughs> Android verse iPhone. iPhone. I got oh, that first. Damn. And steroids. iPhone. Oh, Android iPhone. I think it's pretty tight. Have we got a score update? I reckon it's be very, very tight. Um, knee, bent knee, bell in. A few moments later. Oh, Feeny Bell. Fez bell. Fez vs Bell. Feeny Bell. Fez vs Bell. Feeny vs Belly. That's a win. <laughs> <laughs> that one wasn't even good. Boise, how do you reckon you would have went, mate? Mate, I'd like to say pretty good, but I won't lie, I'm, uh, I'm no good at that stuff, so I'll leave it to the boys. I'm sure he would have done okay. Now, the local league has kicked off with Centrals, Charters Towers and Herbert River recording victories. There were quite a few Mendy Blackhawks in action as we take a look at the results. 
Back rower Justin Frayne scored the match winning try in the dying minutes of Burdekin's battle with the Miners. That was after Hamilton Taylor had given the Roosters a double digit lead. Let's hear the man of the moment's thoughts on his team's triumph. Yeah, we started off pretty poorly, which we started off poorly in the trials as well, but we finally got some momentum at the end of the first half and half time we got a bit of a rev up, which we needed and the second half was all us. So a few beers after the game and sung the team song pretty loud. And mate, Edna Gebe certainly pushed his case for Q Cup selection against Norths on Saturday night. Yeah, mate, big uh, ready steady Eddie. He absolutely carved up for Centrals, scoring uh, three tries and might have had a, a hand in two others. He's an absolute freak when he wants to be. He's uh, real elusive, so hopefully he keeps his good form up and we might see him in the black and green soon. Well, the Tigers take on the Miners on Saturday night in Charters Towers. Reigning Premier's brothers begin their title defence at the same time with a home game against the Crushers. And Sunday's showdown between the Lions and Roosters is at the Sports Reserve. Boise, that's us. Thanks for being a part of the show. Good luck with the recovery and we can't wait to see you back on the field, mate. Thanks for having me, Fergo. It's been a pleasure. Um, I'm ready to get back amongst it and rip in and um, hopefully hold that trophy up at the end of the year with the boys. Yep, come back just for the glory. That's it. Drink beer out of that cup. Now remember, you can stay up to date with all your Mandy Blackhawks news by jumping on the club's website or on our social media platforms. See you next time, guys.